Let him go. I can't believe it's Thursday already. Okay. Okay, so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Sonia Bernard. I'm an independent demonstrator with um, Stampin' Up. And um, today I want to show you a super quick um, Christmas card. I don't know why my iPad has zoomed in. <laughs> it was like back and now, like right in your face. But um, I want to go ahead today and show you a really cute and easy and fast, who doesn't like that, Christmas card that you could knock out a whole bunch of these and you may be receiving one of these from me because <laughs> I'm kind of digging it. So we're going to use, um, the paper that we're going to use is the Sweetest Christmas. I'm going to turn this down and we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you this paper pack because it's super cute. Um, I didn't check the inventory status report. So I believe it's still available. It would be in the mini catalog. Um, and we'll have to double check on that one. But even if this paper's not available, any Christmas paper this is gonna work with, and it's gonna be quick, it's gonna be simple, you're gonna love it. Okay, and thank you to all my new subscribers out there. I appreciate it, and to everybody who watches and likes my videos and my YouTube, and thank you so much, I appreciate it greatly. Okay, I'm gonna turn you down and let's Let's get down to the fun stuff. Okay. Let's see where we're at. Okay. Just gotta catch up to the to the um to the Facebook. There's like a 20 second delay between what I do and what happens on the screen. So this is the paper pack. And it's got these wonderful candy canes and the die that comes in this bundle, you can actually die cut these candy canes out. So that is super fun. And then we've got these red and green stripes. I believe this is garden green and uh, um, sweet sorbet. And then more candy canes. And then we've got this beautiful, just striped garden green paper. And we're actually, no, we're not using that one. More stripes. And then dots too. So this could be used, um, Valentine's coming up. So you could even use this at Valentine's Day. I just love our paper packs. And then the green, ooh, St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> and more candy canes, because you can never have enough candy canes. And there's the red. This is the one we're going to use today. Let me put that aside. And this nice big thick stripe here with the dots on the back. Okay, so the coordinating colors, that's great about the paper. It always tells you on the back right here what your coordinating colors are. So we've got garden green, pool party, real, real red, and sweet sorbet. And I can't believe I could read that because it's really tiny. But those are the, um, the colors that coordinate great with this paper pack. So you know that Stampin' Up! is known for its coordination. And um, right, we have our sweet sorbet ink. And we have our sweet sorbet cardstock. What we didn't have was a sweet sorbet um, ribbon. Now, I could have got a white ribbon and a blender pen and colored it in, but I'm being lazy. And um, this is a ribbon pack that's in the mini. I believe this is in the mini. And um, this is actually a garden green, I believe, and a real red. But this will work fine with this. Gives it a little extra pop. So let me show you the card we're making. It's adorable. It is this cute little dog. I've used this dog before, but he's adorable. I just love him. And this is so quick and easy. And you can see by the paper that we're using, you can use any paper that you have. And then we've just got a quick sentiment on the inside. So let's get started. And today I'm even gonna show you the, um, we're gonna cut the paper. So your card base, is just your normal five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter and then we've got this 
white layer here. And this is the same size as inside the card. And that is just the standard five and a quarter by four. So you have two of them. Oh, I'm putting it where you can't see it. Ha. Okay. And then we have our little um, designer series paper, and that's five by three and three quarter. Very easy. So there's your four main. Then you need some a scrap of black to punch out the dog. You need a scrap of white. And um, this is for the stitched. We're using the... Um, Stylish shapes, dies, they're very versatile. So we're gonna use the biggest die there, the biggest circle die out of the stylish shapes dies. So just a piece of white, um, basic white to cut that out with and some ribbon. Okay, and a, a little bling. Oh, I think I forgot the bling. Oh no. Okay, so we need five by three and a quarter. So you're gonna take your 12 by 12 and go up to the five and it doesn't matter which way you go with this it just doesn't matter and you can get six cards out of one sheet of paper so you can make six of these because you'll go five five again you'll have a little strip left over you could always put a little strip on the inside and then we go by three and three quarters and that's how easy that is and you can just cut them while you're here. Look, if you're doing like a bunch all at once, three and three quarter, three and three quarter, and a little strip that you can put on the inside, just trim that down. So you're gonna get six out of one sheet. And it, that's gonna make you a lot of Christmas cards. And you can use all different, you could use every one in here. And so they'll just have all these different backgrounds. Too easy, we like easy, we like quick, like let's get it done so we've got our base we've got our piece of designer series paper and then we've got our two pieces of white paper the punch is super easy we're just using basic black getting our punch it's the scotty dog and we go upside down and we, you always want to look when you're looking this way so you can see that the paper is all lined up and then you just pop it out and you can do what you want with the um the black bows i'm gonna keep them and just maybe something will will jump out at me and then you do need a little scrap of the um sweet sorbet for the bow cute okay and then we're going to stamp a sentiment for the inside. Now this is from another stamp set and I forgot the name. It's in the mini catalog. Oh, it starts with a B. Brightest, brightest glow, I think it is. And it has, I think it's brightest glow. Okay. Hoping your Christmas shines bright with the love of family and friends. Because that's what I really want for everyone this Christmas. It's just a beautiful, happy Christmas. Now, we are going to put a little Merry Christmas on here. So, before you glue this down, you're going to want to just kind of lay him down and figure out where we're going to put this Merry Christmas. So, this will give you a nice visual. And I am doing this upside down and it's like a foot in front of me. <laughs> so not too bad. Okay. How easy is that? That's all the stamping we've got to do. So again, you can line these up. If you're doing a whole bunch of these, it's best to do like cut all your paper at once, punch all your dogs at once, stamp all your stamping stuff at once, get it all knocked out all at once. Okay. This DSP is just simply layered down onto our basic white. We're going to use our Tombow Multi Glue because I love the Tombow. You know, if you let this sit and you let it air dry, it actually becomes tacky. It's a two-way glue, which means it can be used two different ways. 
but I don't need that for any reason. I guess I could have done that with my little Scotty dogs. If you saw the, I'm um, not the Scotty dogs, the gnomes. If you saw the gnomes behind me, that's just a little incentive I have for my team members right now when they offer the um, starter kit because it's an amazing deal. It's um, $99 free shipping. For $99, you get $155 worth of products. Then you get a paper pumpkin. And then you get a discount going forward of 20% and a whole bunch of other stuff. Okay, before you stick this down here, you've got to put your ribbon on. You don't want to do that before you tie your ribbon. So I just wrap it around. Some people just put it a little bit behind, but I find it's just quick and easy. It does use a touch more ribbon this way. And we're just doing a knot. We don't, you can get fancy, you can do a bow. But again, if you're going to be making a whole bunch of these, just do a knot and done. And then we trim using our special ribbon scissors, which are just scissors that's never been used to cut paper because paper will dull your blade. So that's why that just snips through that like butter. Okay, we're almost there. Can you believe it? How quick and easy is this card? Then we're just going to glue this part down. Whoops, moved my ribbon. Do you know it's like 67 days to Christmas, I think? 67. I have got to get my cards made and in the mail. And I truly think everyone's going to be seeing a lot of these. Because that Scotty dog, it actually reminds me a little of my dog. Um, she's a little schnauzer mix. She's a mini schnauzer with a mini poodle. And she's called a mini schnoodle. Oh, look, I actually did this one on the opposite side. Oh, because I was upside down. That's okay. It'll work on this side too. It works either side. Um, did I forget my dimensionals? You know, this is live TV. Well, it's not TV. <laughs> Hang on, you know I did. Oh my goodness. I'm coming. Oh, I did. I forgot the dimensionals. My, here I come. Okay, my class actually ran late because we were doing a lot of talking in my car class this morning. And, um, we kind of ran over, so I was like trying to get ready for this class. I was going very quick. Okay, so I'm just using the mini dimensionals, not the mini glue dots as I kept calling them all morning. Mini dimensionals and put that there. And you know I forgot the, no, yeah, probably forgot the jewels. So you can just um, put jewels wherever you want. You can put extra all around the card if you like. Then we're just going to use more dimensionals. I put three, kind of one near his tail, one near his paw, one near his head. And then he just goes on here. I think I've done this whole thing upside down. <gasps> I've done the mirror image. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's what happens when you're upside down, I guess. Your brain just... Wow, okay, that wasn't even planned. It just happened that that's the mirror image of my card. I guess that's just how your brain works upside down. I don't know. Yep, oh my gosh. Can you believe Halloween is just around the corner? Who's got their, um, their costumes ready? Do, do you do Halloween? Are you like against Halloween? I like it just because where I grew up, we never had it growing up. So I find it a lot of fun. And I do, I do what I call nice Halloween. If you see your ribbon just fraying a little bit, cut it at more of an angle and that should stop that. Yeah, I don't, I don't, do, I don't like scary Halloween. I like cute Halloween. And then if you want, you can write in here prior to gluing it down because, you know, if you're like me, if you make a mistake, then you're done. You, I can't send the card. I have to redo it. And I have before glued it down, 
written my card out to my person, made a boo-boo, and so I've just stuck another piece on top of it, because <laughs> I, I don't know what it is, but if there's a little, if there's a mistake, I, I just can't do it. i got to do it again. Okay, let's do the number eight. Okay. And then we just stick this on the inside. And again, this is available in the mini catalog. Those are all while supplies last, right? Because it does um, run out. And let me show you the actual stamp set. It's called Christmas Scotty. I'm waiting to see if there's a reflection coming up. Oop, yep. I'll probably tilt that up. But it is adorable, and the punch actually coordinates with the little dog down here. It's got a great background stamp. It says, you are always loved. Merry Christmas. May your days be furry and bright. Woof. And then it's got ribbon. It's got snowflakes. It's got more little bows. And it's got everything. It's adorable. It is adorable. And it comes as a bundle with the punch. So you get those two together and if you buy them two together you save 10 percent so that's always a great deal when you get one of the bundles you save 10 percent and that's to everybody and then when you when you join stampin up and you take advantage of that amazing starter kit then you get 20 percent off everything that you buy and then that that number goes up as you go up so it's great Okay, so we're just missing the bling on this one, and now we've got mirror images, but what do you think? How cute is that card? Quick, easy, super. I love it. It's adorable. I'm going to go find my bling and put it on there. Okay, guys, well, I hope you have a great day. If you haven't already subscribed, I'd love you to go ahead and like follow me on Facebook and um, subscribe on YouTube. I'd truly appreciate it. And if you're interested in the starter kit, let me know. That offer is only good till October 31st, 2022. It's an amazing deal. It is amazing. So take advantage. Um, reach out to me. I'm going to put all my links in this in the comment section afterwards. I'm going to edit it. I haven't typed it up yet. So <laughs> let's be honest. Okay. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.